All right, folks. Ouch. It's in the morning. About to make day two of the Poznan series. However, Can we have some water, please? Good morning, folks, and welcome to a brand new video. I want to make this hotel review just for those people who are going to come to a city like Poznan and for this trip I'm staying in two hotels, not back to back, two different hotels, different prices, reasons why, etc. So without further ado, let's get into it. Folks, this is going to be the no BS hotel review. I pull no punches, believe me. So this is what it looks like at the moment. This was a standard room at the Hampton Hilton Hotel. So you do get some coffee stuff. I can't tell you if it's good or not because I am not drinking this stuff. Mocate Coffee Premium. Premium, I doubt. But you can get some Lloyd Earl Grey. See, I always thought that Lloyd was spelt a different way. But there you go. If you want to come to the Hilton, you can get some Rosehip and Raspberry. What's this? Black in tea bags. Okay. Well, you get that anyway. You can ask for a room with a view. I didn't because I couldn't care less. But that's the view if you want. Um, I mean, to be honest, that is a great shot for Instagram. If you look at my Instagram at the Lifestyle Rebel, you will see a picture that's kind of similar to that. Okay, this is where none of the magic happens. Just a pretty standard bed. Very comfortable. Very, very comfortable. I shit you not. It was very comfortable indeed. Uh, it's got all the main plugs, etc. As you can see, I'm charging my laptop here and I'm looping it over because of the adapter. I've been to Poland a few times and believe me, this bit here on my iPhone charger really messed up, really bent backwards. I had to get a new one, so you have to loop it over. If you have a different type of adapter, Perfect. You got your standard desk here. Got stuck up on your waters, folks, but you get two free waters, by the way, just so you know. One with gas, which is horrible, and one without. This chair is the most uncomfortable chair in the world. I guarantee you, you will not be doing that much in here. At the same time, you get a comfortable chair and somewhere to rest your feet if that's the kind of thing that you like i know it's dark but bear with me all right have any of you guys ever seen ace ventura it's one of those slide things okay pretty standard shower but let me tell you it is very good you do get some Soaps and stuff, body washes, conditioner, and shampoo, if you forget. So, you know, if you're tight and you don't have any money to take it with you, it's all free for you. Toilet is a toilet, as you can see, but it may look messy on the floor, but that's what you have to do. You've got to follow the rules. 
two focus to replace the towels, place them on the floor. Um, let me tell you, I don't really use shower gels or anything like that. I use Dove. It's perfect for the skin and it doesn't dry you out. And if you go abroad, it's kind of like universal, they're everywhere. So when you have a specific shower gel, sometimes you might not get it and it could be a problem for you to switch soaps and stuff like that. I don't know if, if that means anything to some of you, but it means a lot to me, I like consistency. So get the soap, and I didn't bring this with me by the way, I bought it here and it cost me something like 25p. folks ouch it's in the morning I'm about to go on about to make day two on the Poznan series however can we have some water please is going on. So, as I told you, this is a no BS guide to the hotel review in Poznan. And at the moment, the Hampton Hilton does not have water. We need to find out what's going on. Because um, if you ever visit Poland, you might get some kind of weather warnings sent to your phone via SMS saying, it's too hot. It's gonna be some storms. Take shelter now. <laughs> oh my God, it's so early. No, seriously, I need to shower, man. One hour later. Oh, oh, we've got we've got some life at the moment. That's how much is coming out, and the thing is, I'm already changed. I just changed in like two minutes to go downstairs to eat the free breakfast. But hopefully, they can sort it out beforehand. Let's have a look. I mean, that, that's manageable, isn't it? That will do. That will do. Hey, I haven't even had I can't even wash my face or anything. Or brush my teeth. What the hell? This will do. This will be enough come back. Do I look presentable? And here is the breakfast. It came free as part of the room. And as you can see, there was a lot of variety in all the foods. Lots of fresh bread, fresh honey, juices, fruit, basically everything that you would want to have for breakfast. Not just like that typical European style breakfast that you have in hotels, which is really small. There was a large variety at this hotel, a major plus. So this is a twin room. Now it's much bigger 
than the room that I was in earlier, which I showed you with the wonderful concrete view of the other building. This room is on the upper floors, a lot of space on the floor, um, and obviously, just so you guys know that I'm in a different room and I don't BS, this is the view. All right, and that's a woman there who is actually picking up the dog's poop, unlike many dog owners. <sighs> oh, there we go. So this room is a lot bigger. Another positive advantage if you're staying at the Hampton Hilton, because they are that hospitable. As I just showed you before, there's no water coming from this room. So, Time for room number three. <laughs> this is not even a joke. I've got to go to the room above. Now I've got to pick up all this shit that I've left. Fuck. Ladies and gents, I've actually just changed, made myself look presentable, going with the khaki chinos. Here's an update. So all the water is back on, the taps, the toilet so you can flush it, and of course the shower has all its power again. I think I'm still going to stay in the room. They offered me a voucher for dinner and they gave me a room on the upper floor. So, for this hotel review, we're just gonna go upstairs and we're gonna see what this room is like, if it's any different to the room that I'm staying in now, because now that the water's back on, I'm not gonna use that room and I'm not gonna use the dinner voucher because, you know, it's only water not being on for like two hours in the morning. I went downstairs, just, you know, rubbed my eyes, had breakfast or whatever, and now shower's on, I'm fully refreshed, washed and all that kind of stuff. Um, and, you know, the free dinner thing, I don't, it's a nice gesture. So this is the kind of service that you're gonna get here at this hotel. However, um, you know, it's not the end of the world, not having water for like two hours in the hotel room. You know, I'm not bothered about that. But anyway, let's go upstairs and check and see if this room is any different to the one I'm staying in right now. All right. Let me just take this. <laughs> that weren't me. I didn't do that. Shit. Shh, don't tell anyone. Shh. All right, let's go and check this out. Which one's gonna open first? Guess, quick, quick, quick. Make sure that you know when you go to hotels that you Try to keep these away from your phone. What? It's going down. Actually, you get a much better view. Look, you can see the 
place that I went to the other day, if you watch my first vlog, the castle. I don't know what that is. I think that's in the center of town. I think that's where the goats, but that's where we're going today. If you look, get ready for part two of the Poznan series, we're going to Ostro Tomsky because there's a little area somewhere to get a, to escape away from the town. All right, folks, so this is the queen room. Actually, it's quite spacious as well. Let's do a quick, see here, you've got the psychologist chair where you can just talk about your problems. Obviously, this is just the queen bed. Everything is normal, the mirror, blah, blah, blah. You get your free waters. Actually, that's what I will take. All right, point to note. Wait, which one's the gas? Don't drink this one. It's got gas in it. It's one of the perks of swapping rooms, even though I'm not. But it's pretty much exactly the same type of room that I had in the first review. So there you have it. And I paid, just so for this room, I paid £37 per night. Bargain. For me, it's an absolute bargain. The reason why, for this hotel in London, for that many nights, it's not happening. I'm probably paying 148 per night. So, uh, and not in the centre, by the way. The reason why I'm staying here is for a different reason. And we're going to go and find that right now. But... Let me go and get my key. What the hell is the keys in the door? All right. Clean stay. All right. Let's go to the exact place as the reasons why. I wanted to come and stay at this hotel. The thing about this hotel is, it's empty. There's hardly anyone here, which is quite strange. Oh, this way. All right, folks, this is the main reason why on the first floor, this is where the magic happens. Oh shit, someone's in there already. Don't mind me, I'm just filming. I'm not filming you, don't worry. All right, this is the reason why I'm staying at this hotel. Not because they have a Stairmaster, or a bike, or a treadmill but they've got dumbbells from 4kg all the way to 20kg, you can do a lot. You can do shoulder presses, lunges, if you wanna do legs, you can do bar, um, dumbbell rows for your back because you've got a bench here and you've got the cable machines here. Pull-ups. So you can do a lot of things just to kind of maintain your physique. You can do your back with your chest. You can do your legs another day and maybe shoulders and arms. So this is the reason why I'm staying at this hotel. And to be honest, it is better than most hotels because you know, if there's one thing that's notorious about hotels are that their fitness centers are garbage. You've got the towels, obviously you've got water, so there you go. Even this man is working out. As you can see, he's doing a plank. All right, let's leave him to it and let's get out of here. Thanks, mate. Hey. Okay, so I'm just on my phone now. I'm using the iPhone 12. For those of you who want to know about the camera quality, he's changed. That was the fitness center. Very rare to have something with that many 
um, facilities inside that room. Hotel is also in a great location, is literally six minutes walk to the main square. So you're not right in there, but you're not so far away. As I said, it was 37 pounds per night. Has the gym, which is what I wanted anyway. And for the rest of the week, I'm going to be staying in an Airbnb because it's gonna fall over the weekend. So it will be much cheaper than the hotels. Hotels during the week is really cheap now at the moment. I think this is probably going to be the cheapest time to be in a hotel. It will be just when the, you know, travel is starting to open up a little bit. But anyway, let's move on to the second hotel. Prices, reasons why and what it bloody looks like. And before I go, just remember one thing. Every time you go in a hotel, right, always check under the bed. Reasons why, especially in times like this, if there's still crap on the floor, what makes you think they've made an effort for the rest of the parts of the room? I hear an upgrade calling me. <laughs> 